Hello, hello, hello. We should be live. I don't know if I should make the 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 long part of this like silver looking so it looks like the master sword or if we just leave it like this and then the actual and then we have the sword beams come out anyway I kind of wish they broke it up into like e even more parts so I could have the whole I kind of want like this big part here to be like Purple still. But I don't know if I want to, uh... Like, I don't know, I could do something like this. To make it look like... The sword part of the Master Sword, and then it shoots out the beams, you know what I mean? It's also really hard to get a good camera angle on it. But I think this'll... This will be cool. Did it make it really shiny? And hey, welcome to the stream, Chef Man. How are you doing? There we go. Here, let me say this as a. Uh, this can be like a. Uh, Bat Link with Master Sword. Oh oh, there's only uh, there's only so many uh. Yeah, you know, we, we just do with Master. That that'll be uh. There we go. Bat Link with the Master Sword. That'll do. And I think we're good. I think that's like... That, that, that's all I needed, I think. I don't think I needed anything else fancy. These are all the same, I think, as my other... 
Except for those shields. Hmm, I see. So these are pretty much just meant to parry, pretty much. Indubitably. I think I get the picture. Ooh, I have to spend money to do this? Yeah, I'll do it. Hold up. Oh, they they, they removed my shit. Okay. So hold on, I gotta get the, only the ones I want. Or only the ones I actually use, I should say. Um... I had this, which I don't need either. Okay. Um, oh, the direct hit damage modifier I definitely want. Uh, melee damage. I, I don't know, does the Moonlight Greatsword count as a uh, melee damage or as an energy damage weapon? Hmm. Hmm. Quite indubitably. Well, I can just do here, here. It counts as energy? Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Because I want... Uh, maybe I don't need explosive, actually. Well, I already put one point in it. Here, I'll grab the first level of that for the three, three buckaroos. Ah, uh, use your melee tracking step. It does beam damage. Gotcha. Um, and then I guess I'll do kinetic, and kinetic, because I'd be using the mini guns like crazy. The miniguns are forever. Alright, there we go. That's a better, like, uh, spread on my, my OS tuning. And let me just, uh, I gotta re-equip my stuff that it took off by, uh... Because I reset my upgrades. Uh, I just had another, yeah, another minigun here. Or Gatling gun. Okay, um... I think that's all good, I think. Yeah, okay. Makes sense to me. Um, and we can... probably go to our next mission. Defend the control tower until systems take over. The floating sitting of Xylem is complete. Okay. I can do that. I think. Overseer, the Association of Observers. They want to burn the coral. What? Um, yeah, Chef Man, I was fighting, or not fighting, I was watching Nick fight, uh... Get into position, tourist. It's time. I need you to protect that tower wait, until we've managed all right, hold on, before something crazy, like, comes out and kills me, I was watching Nick fight, uh, Dragon Lord Placidusax, and I realized the, uh, the, the boss I fought yesterday, the, the Ibis unit, or whatever it was called, that shit was not Millennia, that shit was Dragon Lord Placidusax, um... They have this, they have like identical claw moves with like the giant red claws. Um, I mean, like, Placidus X has the lightning, and, and the Ibis unit had like the, you know, the, all the missile rain and all that shit. I was like, damn, I forgot about him. Well, I would never forget about him, but I did forget like 
you know, like, like seeing it, I was like, wait a minute. This looks like very similar, you know? Um, obviously he moves much slower, but you know, it, 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 the, the moves, like the way that his, like he'd go for the claw and it'd be like, you know, he'd have the red, like, uh, extendo claw. Yeah, you remember Ted getting soft like, yeah, that was awesome. That was an awesome part. Um, I told Nick about that and Nick was like, damn, I wish that was me just so I could get to the boss fight faster. And he's real for that because uh, that boss fight is actually kind of annoying to get to um, on respawn, you know? And there's no, uh, there's no like, stake near it. Which is weird because they're like, here's this new awesome stake mechanic. And then, like, the, the longest run back, they, they don't let you go back. You first tried him? I don't think I first tried him, but I don't remember struggling on him for that long. But also, I was I was a sorcery user, so, like, you know, you know, you know the deal. You did that shit overleveled? I think I did it, like, as I got there, but I was also a sorcerer, so, like, consider me the sorcerer supreme. Um, because I was using some, like, you know, you, you know, you know the deal with sorcery. I probably just got underneath his legs and, and, uh... I probably just got underneath his legs and casted Meteor Ray until he died. Moonlight and Frostblade spell? Well, Nick's using the Moonlight Greatsword. Or the Dark Moon Greatsword, or whatever you want to call it. Um. But yeah, Duelist Moonblade is coded. You were using the katana? Oh, do you mean the, uh, the moon veil? We've got access to support weaponry. Use them if you need the help. Come on, this, is this my support weaponry? Uh oh, they're they're getting close. But hold up, I want to access my weapon. Oh, oh, that looks pretty nice. Um. But yeah, N Nick found the Moon Veil, and I'm proud of him because he hasn't he hasn't been tempted by the blade. Um, to use Moon Veil yet. But, uh, because he, he's mostly been doing, uh, what's it called, bleed and whatnot. Uh, but he was also, like, dabbling in sorcery. So he had enough, he had pretty high int, and he was like, wait, I want to be, I want to use the Moonlight Race sword. But that just makes it more awesome, because now he has access to bleed and frost buildup. Yeah, good thing they didn't equip any of these uh, guys with, like, rockets or anything, so they could, like, shoot, you know, the towers from far away. Uh oh what are these guys? Are these actual armored cores? Oh, yeah, here's the snipers. Okay, just as I say it. Oh, shit, these guys are pretty strong. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh no, my boosters. No, dude, my... No, my boosters! Yo, welcome to the stream, Ted. How are you doing? Dude, do I just need to be a quickster? Why not Mekiro? <laughs> um, I don't know. That's a great question. Oh hell no, nah, bro! What do you mean, make sure I don't miss? <laughs> okay, guys. Maybe... 
Maybe I need to be a little bit quicker for this mission. Maybe I need to be a little bit quicker. You're well now that you have the dirty used feet table. Wait, you have a used feet table? Used feet. Mmm. <laughs> what are the feet using, huh? Here, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should get out Mega Man, you know what I'm saying? Sexy Mega Man, though. Um. What's it called, uh? Yeah, Ted, I was just telling, uh, Chef Man, what's it called? Uh, Nick made it to Dragon Lord Placidusax. Main system. Activating combat mode. Get into position, tourist. It's time. But he, he, he didn't get, he's not, a uh, he didn't get there the awesome way like you did, Ted. But I would, I would, I would assume that's been patched out. I like some you sacks? Yeah, I like him too. The voices in my head always be like, I'll support you. My brother in Christ, you do literally nothing. We've got access to support weaponry. Use them if you need the help. Yeah, I need the help. I got that one, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. You know, this makes sense. It's like it's like a defend mission. I have to play Mega Man because Mega Man Mega Man's made to protect the world. You know, he's fighting to save the world. So it only makes sense that we need Mega Man for this mission. Oh, you know what? I should have given Mega Man the Moonlight Racer too, because I had the Laser Lance on Mega Man. But he could—he could probably use the Moonlight Racer, right? I think. I think he could use a little bit of that. Unless it's too heavy or too energy consuming. Three more minutes. Hang in there, tourist. All right. Where is everyone at? Oh yeah, here comes the snipers. Go clear them out. No, come on, Mega Man. Come on. Was that a joke? Uh oh. <laughs> Good one, Mega Man. Oh, I add, speaking of jokes, I added the laugh track sound effect. I don't know if it's any good, though. It was, like, hard to find a good one. You know? Um. Because, like, I didn't want to get one that was too long, but also, like, if they're too short, you know, it's just, like, it's not that awesome. And also, I don't know if it's loud enough. That might that might need to be louder. Wait, we've got something else. No vital signs. They're suicide drones. They're playing for keeps. Make sure you don't miss Taurus. Oh, <laughs> what, dude? How am I supposed to stop them? Yeah, I I, I don't know. There better not be more suicide drones because I cannot fuck with that. 
Looks like they're falling over each other to get your autograph, tourist. You're gonna hit it again, but mobile is dumb. There you go. You've been working like a dog. Must be Walter's influence. That guy's a real slave driver. Damn, why they got why they got strong foes now? I don't want there to be strong foes, I just want there to be weak foes. Who who's shooting the tower? Is it you? Oh, it's probably that guy with the fucking missile. Oh no no no, you're not doing this. You're not doing this right now. Oh my god. I hope he doesn't need me to defend the tower after he hacks it. Oh, are these snipers? Oh no, I think they're just getting dropped in. Oh, right, did I do it? Holy shmoly. Working like a dog? Slam in the cockpit of the AC like woof woof Ah, okay. Okay, Ted, I see you. Wait, so is the laugh track, is, is it a good volume? Yes, okay. Now I'll show you <laughs> what this city really is. Owner, Carla. Ah! <laughs> I'll show you what the city really is. <laughs> what? This is the Armored Core. Okay, Ted, I, I guess I picked out a real good one, if you like it that much. What the fuck? Is it like a giant... turtle? Well, not like a turtle, but it, like, it's kind of shaped like one. Like, are we gonna go swimming through the water? Or is this just a giant mech? That, that probably makes sense. Oh. Indubitably. Walter's parting gift. Rista has me wheezing. <laughs> Ted during like the most awesome part of the game. Let me fill you in on the plan. The plan is simple. While you were captured. Archibus finished their work on the vascular plant. It's pulling the coral through Rubicon's atmosphere. And it won't be long till they take it all. We need to burn the coral before it's too late. Of course, we can't just walk up to the plant and light a match. No, we're going to need something bigger. A lot bigger. We're gonna need something a lot bigger. <laughs> Figured it out. The xylem isn't just our means of reaching the plant. It's a giant powder keg. Plenty to set all that coral off. <sighs> Is that the observer's plan? The corporations want only to devour the coral. The observers fear the coral and want only to eradicate it. I am the coral. I believe in the shared potential of humanity and the coral. Raven. I need to ask you something. Ted, that was mostly me. That was mostly me. Don't group in Chef Man with me. Chef Man, like, knew what he wanted, and I did not know what I wanted. So don't, don't lo- don't, uh, don't, don't lump in Chef Man. Chef Man was sitting there on the, the, waiting for other players screen. No new messages. 
What are you guys playing? So I'm playing a... I'm... I'm Darren Bristlebeard. I'm a, a dwarf fighter. Um... And yeah, Chef Man's a golden dragonborn with golden draconic ancestor sorcery. And, uh... Buzz Lightyear? Buzz Lightyear for what? For being a dwarf fighter? What? What? Um... But, uh, yeah, Chef Man has scary dwarf privilege. Um. I, I have to protect Chef Man at all costs. Oh, Dragonborn Sorcerer? I mean, I guess that is. I don't know. It, it's whatever. The, uh, it, it was awesome, Ted. On the, uh,. Eat my light ear. <laughs> okay. Um, this guy seems hilarious. The crowd's going wild. That's right, they were. Um, we can't just light a match. <laughs> um, what's it called? So the... Uh, it was awesome. On the Nautiloid Ted, I just had Shadowheart command the uh, the tiefling. Or the... Well, he's not a tiefling. He's like a, a demon. The You know, the, the demon guy. To drop his sword, and then me and Chefman just ran over and yoinked it, and the guy just started throwing hands with the Mind Flayer. The, the guy just started fucking beating the shit out of the Mind Flayer. It was beat down time. It was like fucking Omni Man moment, where it's like, where he's like, think Mind Flayer, and he fucking starts like beating the shit out of him. It was pretty awesome. Um. Oh, we're also playing on Tactician, because Chefman said he's a real gamer. He's ready for real games. Um. So we're playing on Tactician. Oh, yeah, we, we didn't have any, uh, yeah, we didn't have any trap disarming kits, and Chef Man was like, I was like, Chef Man, you can open the, the sarcophagus, I just, like, like it's, we know it's trapped, so you can open it if you don't want to disarm it, uh, and Chef Man's like, okay, and then the floor gets covered with grease and fireballs come out, and we all, everyone except for Shadowheart instantly died, um, which was pretty awesome. Um, so that was pretty cool. I like that part. Um, but yeah, we're still we're still in that underground area. Um, we're still in that underground area. Uh, we ended there because Chef Man, you know, Chef Man's got a bedtime, so we didn't play super long. Well, we played for a while, but a lot of it was my character creation going through. Oh, yeah, I, I stole all the undead that wake up, the skeletons. I, I stole all their weapons, so, so we didn't have to fight them with their weapons. And they all they all started casting, uh, they all started casting fog on me, because they were, uh, they wanted to start farting on our shit. No, Ted, it's not that far. Like, we're off the Nautiloid. Um, what NPCs? We have Shadowheart, Lazel, and Astarian. The ones that we're currently with are Starion and Shadowheart. Chefman gets custody of Shadowheart, I get a custody of a Starion. Um. Wait, he serves into him? Oh, hold up. Did not know, did not know Sponge. Wait, what do you mean you got scammed? Did you not hear that? I heard it. No audio. Hold up. Hold up. I'll replay it for you. It played for me. I th yeah, I think I realized the problem. I think it came through my PC monitor, not my headset. Let me see if I can fix that. Output device, my headphones. The kid name phones. Um, here, is that going to work? Replay this. No. Well, it's playing for me, but it's not playing for you, Ray. You guys did not hear that? Hmm. Refunding my sub? No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Don't do it, don't do it. Nothing? Hold on. 
Hold on, guys. Peter, let me cook. I... Disputing the payment on my bank account? No, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Um... It says my output for OBS is my headphones. So if I play it, it should come through my headphones. But it doesn't, what the fuck? Um, how can I fix damn Daniel? No, oh, no, Nick, that didn't happen. You're not going to lie to the bank guy, are you? Nick, stop it. Don't lie to the bank guy. Wait, hold on. What if I do this? What if I do this? Very good. Hey, have you guys seen the video of Did, Squidward wait, that one Bob serves into him didn't going play for Squidward. you guys, right? Or, or it did play for you guys. It didn't play for me. Hold on. Let me get it. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me get it. Now it should play for both of us. Very good. Hey, have you guys seen the video of Squidward where SpongeBob serves into him going high Squidward? There we go, right? That was good. Or was that echoey? Was the sec was the second one echo Yeah, now it's playing twice? Okay. See, that's why I have it like that. But... But... Okay. But the problem is... Hold on. Hold on. Why is it like this, bro? Let me see. Very good. Hey, have you guys seen the video of Squidward where Spongebob serves into him going high Squidward? That one was playing twice, right? That one was played twice again? Hold on, sorry. Uh, wait, why did that? Why, wait, why did that one play twice, though? Or did that one play once, guys? What, what was that one? Was that one once or twice? Thoughts? Was that echo or no echo? Because I might have fixed it. I might have fixed it. That one was fine? Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. I, I needed it to come through my headphones. The twice is not that bad. It's because I think when it plays twice, it I think it's literally just playing exactly. So it's playing. You guys are hearing the, the noise from the notification, and then you're hearing it from my desktop. So it should be directly on top of itself, um, unless there's some delay or whatever in the way it processes it. But um, technically, it should be the same exact thing. It might be like a little louder or like slightly like echoey because if it's like a second off or whatever or like, you know, a millisecond off or whatever. But it's all good. It's all good. It's just like, I think it's because I plugged in my headphones after I booted up Streamlabs. Um, so I think it was like it, it was registered. It was coming out of my speakers and then it didn't want to like adjust. But now it finally adjusted. So there we go. Um, anyway. So now now that you're here, Nick. Um, all right, guys. Uh, Ted, this one's for you, Ted. This one's for you. Uh, what's the deal with Goron food? It rocks. Eh? So I just found the funniest video. Oh! Think of Squidward, okay? Like from Spongebob, and he's in the 2020 Chevy Silverado. Squidward is like, boy, I sure love driving in my 2020 oh. Chevy Silverado. Then it cuts to Spongebob going high Squidward and crashes into him. Oh, very good, very good one, very good one, guys, very good one. Wow, <laughs> that's so funny. Yay! <laughs> that's a pretty funny video. Oh, man, oh, man, that's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. Dude, none of you guys were here. I'm watching, like, the most epic story cutscene ever, because I just, like... For anyone who missed it, right at the beginning, I did a mission. Um... Yeah, Hector, Hector, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um... 
<laughs> yeah, apparently I played the funniest mission ever. Because it's a mission where you have to defend, like, the control tower. And when we finish defending the control tower, the sunken city or whatever, the whole city comes out of the ground. The, the whole city is a giant fucking, like, airship or whatever. Um, because that shit's just awesome style like that. But then, uh... But then, what's it called? Ted's just spamming the laugh track through the entire cutscene. And, and, like, the character's like, we're not gonna be... We're, like, it, the character said something like, we can't just light a match. And it's like, ah! <laughs> And it's like, and she's like, just defend the control tower for, for ten more seconds. Ah! <laughs> but that was kind of funny, because my ass was not defending that shit. Because they were like, they they were like they were like watch out there's suicide drones and then I missed all the suicide drones so they all went straight into the control tower and that would have been the perfect moment for Ted to be start laughing at my shit but he did not um anyway when did Mega Man get the spiky schlock um this is sexy Mega Man um because I gave him sexy legs look he's got like the high heels on and shit um so yeah he's got spiky he's got spiky schlock now you know it's just part of the the Mega Man lifestyle. Uh, but yeah, the sexy legs are kind of, they kind of hit, I think, so. Why is it 500 and not 100? Because I didn't want you guys laughing at my shit too much, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want, I, I didn't want you guys laughing at my shit that much. Yeah, what if I give him the, the Moonlight Greatsword? Why not Moonlight Greatsword? Um, oh, wow, that's so funny, yay. Like, if you do that after I tell a bad joke, it's still so funny, yay. But, like, if I die in this game and you guys start laughing at me, then I'm going to be, like, really sad. No, no, because, like, like, if I die and you say, wow, that's so funny, yay, I'll just be like, oh, I must have told a really funny joke. But if I die and you guys hit the laugh track, I'm going to be really upset. No, yeah, Ted, Ted isn't refunding his points. Ted just has, yeah, Ted has a gazillion points. Because he's, he's the most, uh, most dedicated Shirley One viewer. And Ted also can't refund his own points, I don't think. If Ted can, uh, can refund his own points, he's getting away with that shit, because I don't think that's something he can do. So I would never check. You can't? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, please don't check, please don't check. No, I can't do that, I can't do that. <laughs> um. Damn, dude. Wait, what? I would not attack Carla, bro. I know it's a decision. I know it's a decision. But, like, damn. Like. I, I gotta intercept the corpse, bro. I there is no way I'm attacking Carla. That is, like, so fucked up. Carla is, like, literally most of the reason that I, like, lived this far into the game. There's the Banjo-Kazooie stream where you took everyone's money? What happened? Was it a gambling event or something and you won? That's just enough to have Nintendo Boy put both his legs behind his head, true. Was it the race? Were we gambling on, like, the hey guy? Was that what it was? Or I could laugh at him 300 times, Drew. Bad ending locked in. No, no, I'm not going for Carla. Sorry, I know I was hovering it. I'm not doing that. I'm not fighting Carla. I would not do that. Um. New game plus for camera runs and kill Carla. I would not do that. And with the coin on the string? Yeah, that's like, that's like, laugh track. Yoink. Laugh track. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, you cleaned up on the Wahey race. What were you? Were you a doubter or were you a believer? The one time I won, was that what happened? Was you? Were you a believer? Or were you a doubter? Um, I'm gonna try. No, eh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me actually change sexy Mega Man a little bit. Let me fix him up a little bit. Um, can I use any like? No, I definitely can't use anything cool on his back. That's what I was wondering, but no, nah, I definitely can't fit anything cool. Maybe I could switch to a different weapon? Yo, Pile Bunker! Well, no, that, that, then I'd have two melee. Which, I mean, I guess might work, but like... 
I just remember there was that one, and then there was Sunday Night Showdown with Nick. What, did you gamble a gazillion points and win? Double melee time? Maybe it is double melee time. Like, pile bunker plus that. Oh, let me put these on, like, regular missiles then, so I know what I like. That, like, like this one's cool, but I feel like it's, like, weird. You know, I'd rather use this. Alright, let's, uh, 